this is the whole project. We're gonna set this great big bowl on top of the cinder block risers that we just put in that area. This is called the Orinoco Bowl from Crescent Garden. They just sent this out to me. 40 inches wide, it's beautiful, like a huge statement container. So in it, we're gonna put this great big boxwood. We just dug this out of our landscape up in front of our house. It's a gorgeous plant, but we needed to make room for something else, but I don't wanna get rid of it. So I think it's gonna look beautiful in this container surrounded by some pretty annuals. Nice and lightweight too. Does it look centered? Uh -huh. I love how this looks. I tend to go for more natural looking containers. So more of the gray, more natural concrete. Uh, it doesn't show hard water as bad. We have really hard water here. Um, so I think that that looks really, really pretty and it'll contrast this box with beautifully. It does. does it? Yeah. Does it look like a lot? Yeah, come look at it. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. I love the way this looks, you guys. Instant impact. I do want to plant a little bit of color around the outer edges, probably with some super bells. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to take my hedge trimmers and just kind of tighten the whole thing up and make a little room for those annuals. And I'm also going to uh, water it in with a little bit of root stimulator. So this has a hormone in it that it helps stimulate the roots. And since we just dug this out of the landscape. We weren't able to get a whole bunch of roots. This was a really established plant. That's why this is an experiment because I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if this box is gonna make it, but I'm gonna do everything I possibly can to have it pull through. So I'll be watering it in today with the root stem and then I'll be using it every two weeks for a little while until I think it's kind of past the point where it's okay. Mixing it up about three and a half tablespoons per gallon. I'm gonna surround the boxwood with a mixture of these Coral Berry Punch Super Bells and these um, Snowstorm Blue Bubbles Sutera. You might know them as Bacopa, but they're a double bloom. They're so pretty, and I think that this is a really gorgeous combination. So that's it for the project today, and I don't really know what the moral of the story is, except for this is the project I was working on, so I thought you might enjoy seeing it. And maybe you guys have a shrub in your garden that's just not doing it for you, or maybe you wanna redo the area, but the shrub still looks good and you can't bear to throw it away, so why not dig it up and plant it in a container? Just give it a little extra TLC, some root stimulator, you know, pay a little closer attention to it, and hopefully it takes off. Like I said, this is an experiment. Um, when you dig stuff out of the garden that's established, it is a little risky. Sometimes they don't make it, but if you stay on it with root stimulator and keep them moist most of the time they do so we will be probably showing you this in garden tours um, coming up and updates later so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye